Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going, everybody? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. We are going to work on this beautiful Treasure Studios art painting. All of my links will be in the description box below. Uh, you already knew. Um, I got two more sections to go, but I have this section right here to finish and a little bit over here to finish. So, oh, you guys can't see. There we go. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I got, I got just a wee little bit here, and a wee little bit here, and a wee little bit here. But today, we're going to go over questions from you, the viewer. So, let's go ahead and get started. I have a couple of questions from a couple of people. Um... <clears throat> I guess I should have picked a color first. Um, let's see. I don't have very much to go, so this is going to be probably a couple of different color changes pretty quickly here. So let's see. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. 601. So today, the first question comes from us by a viewer. Didn't leave a name or anything. Um... How do you come up with so much stuff to talk about during your whip and chat? When I do mine, I never seem to have enough to talk about. I never seem to be able to talk long enough besides maybe 15, 20 minutes and then I have to stop. Well, it's pretty easy. I'm going to tell you guys what I do. I, I In my whip and chats, I normally talk about... Life. My live streams talk about life. Talk about what's going on with me, my fur babies. And yeah, I just talk about life, about what's going on with me and what's going on with Trapper and Mary Jane and Phoenix and work. You know, I use this as kind of like get it off my chest at the end of the night type of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, oh, I did grab a drink. Got a really scratchy throat. Allergies have been crazy today. But yeah, so just... Even if I... If, like me. Okay. I have a squirrel brain. Okay. I forget stuff all the time. Okay. I get my handy dandy trusty wolf notebook from Sister Addiction. Oh my god, I love it. And I keep notes. You go through this book, there's there's notes all over in it. Like all over this book. And that's the way I remember what I want to talk about. It's pretty si pretty simple. When I do a live stream, I write down like, when I get up in the morning, Saturday morning, I'll sit down on the couch for about half an hour and I'll go through, uh, like, pick my brain. Okay, what do I want to talk about? What's going on? What's, you know, how's this? How's that? I, And that's what I choose to talk about. And it seems like a lot of people love listening to stories about your fur babies and how things are with you. Nobody has complained yet to date ever since I started doing whipping chats and when I started my channel I never did whipping chats when I started my channel I never did diamond painting thanks to patriotic beauty as you guys know her from here on YouTube <clears throat> she got me into the diamond painting scene and I never I never diamond painted on my channel I just diamond painted because I liked it and then one night when I was doing a live stream, when I was just chit-chatting with everybody and seeing how things were going, and somebody, I, actually, I think it was Mrs. Coffee, my sister from another Mista, said, well, why don't you down and paint live? And I was like, never thought of it. Do you guys like that? And a lot of people said, yeah. And that's when I went through my whole transformation of changing out of the shit show community 
that I was in, I, w I wasn't even really, like, I was there for like a month and a half, and then I got the hell out of Dodge because it was the wrong, wrong decision. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about whipping chats. So, keeping notes throughout the day, throughout the week of what you have going on in life, your kids, whatever it may be. And also, tag questions. I know when I first started, I didn't have a lot to talk about. I was like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. I'm sure I was boring as hell, right? But after a while, I started getting used to it. I started picking it up. I started talking more as I'm diamond painting. And then somebody said something about, um, oh, I was watching Creative Mayhem here on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, she's, she was doing a, a video and she was answering tag questions. And I was like, oh, snap, that is an awesome idea of something to keep you busy and you don't have to stop to think. You could just read tag questions. I like doing tag questions. When I was doing my, my, uh, paint by number, I did a lot of tag questions because I was, I had to really... Pay attention to what I was doing, and I I would always forget to talk. So tag questions were easy when I was doing that. I really need to bring that back. I actually have put that off for quite a while. Um, I always have a couple people who ask for it, and I need to bring that back. Maybe I'll do like a time lapse of it or something. I need to get it done. That's what it boils down to. I have too much crap going on and not enough work getting done so anyways tag questions help out tremendously I used to answer tag questions all the time I actually have a list of tag questions it's actually an email that creative mayhem I said wow this is freaking awesome I wish I had tag questions she goes well you can go online and look up tag questions and get tag questions and I was like Awesome. She goes, but I have this list of tag questions. If you want it, I'll send it to you. And I was like, thank you. I'll take it. So I got the tag questions. I used the tag questions. I've actually, I think I've used like half of those tag questions. So I still have probably like five or six pages of tag questions. And they're, those pages are loaded. Sorry. I have to get a drink. My throat is like super scratchy. I haven't had a soda yet today. I'm trying to limit myself to one soda a day. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Dr. Pepper, I love you. So, <clears throat> I had the same person ask me, how do I keep so busy in a live stream? I'm always talking. Plus, I always interact with the chat. I always read questions off. I take time and I read questions. And I, they're like, I've never seen anybody actually have 50 to 60 people in chat and keep up with it. Plus, continue to talk. You may lose track of what you're talking about, but the, the chat will help you remember. I don't know. I've, I've always been big on wanting to read what you guys say. And that's, that's been one of my biggest things. Is whatever you guys are talking to me in, a, in a live, I always try to remember to talk to you guys and answer questions or answer comments or answer what you guys are talking about. Sometimes I get so busy that I'm painting and not paying attention and it just... <clears throat> your comment flies right on past. But I try really hard to keep up with chat and to keep up t with communication with you guys. My biggest key is communication with you guys. That's what I've, I've always strived for that it's ever since I started on painting. Because I see there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are so busy 
you know, like Miss, say Mrs. Coffee. She has three, four hundred people in her chat. She can't keep up with all those people. And once I, once I'm up to that number, I, I guarantee it, I ain't gonna be able to keep up with that number. There's a, that many people. Squirrel. Squirrel. I haven't said squirrel in a while. And if you don't like it, you can kick rocks. I don't care. So yeah, like just. Usually before I go live or before I start a whip and chat, I try to clear my head. I sit and do yoga. Clear the head. And then I hit that record button and then it's just like, boom. Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How is it you guys doing? Blah, 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 you know, and I just, start, I just start talking. I don't know. I just, I just start, I just start and I go and... Yeah, sometimes I may be tired and I may be like, Ugh. but, you know, shit happens. I'm a working, working, working fool. Okay, 3607. That's my problem half the time is I work so much and like right now. Did I say 3607? Yes. Well, like right now, it is 1015, 1030 at night. And I'm just getting into the craft room. I've been recording for 11 minutes now. Uh, just getting into the craft room to record a whip and chat. I still have to put an intro outro on this. All that good stuff and get it uploading to YouTube because my internet sucky moto. Um, yeah, you know, life goes on. I'm, I'm completely used to not getting any sleep anymore. Um, I'm lucky if I get a couple hours, but anyways, back to what I was talking about. So that's pretty much all, all I have for that question. Just stay busy, you know, I was in a live earlier today, I ain't gonna say whose live it was, and I ain't gonna diss this person, but <clears throat> there was two people in the live. And I wasn't talking because I was at work. I was mainly listening. And this person sat there for 15 minutes and just said, Hmm, I wonder where everybody's at. I wonder where everybody's at today. And after about 15 minutes, I was like, Okay, see ya. Don't expect people to come to your lives and keep you busy with stuff to talk about. You have to be prepared. Even if it's questions, getting to know people. And I'm not trying to ridicule anybody and I'm not trying to tell anybody how to run your channel, but if you do a live stream, you can't sit there and be quiet. You have to talk. No matter if there's one person in there or two people in there and they ain't talking, you have to talk. You have to communicate. Trust me. I learned. I used to go do a live and I'd be like all quiet. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. You have to be prepared. To talk. To communicate with people. If they are communicating with you. <clears throat> God, why is my throat so scratchy? Probably because these stupid allergies are freaking off the charts. Squirrel. I love saying squirrel. I don't know why I ever stopped. I don't know why I ever let somebody say, Yeah, you stealing that from Sherry. Oh, shut the flicker fuckers up. Anyways, so I got one more question. And then we're going to go on and talk about life and, you know, gold diggers and... You know. Anyways. Um, oh, this last question is, is a pretty simple one to answer, really. Because it's been one of my biggest things on my channel that I've always loved communicating with you guys. When somebody leaves me a comment, I don't just give you a heart. I know a lot of people will just give a heart. I comment back to everybody. There may be sometimes where <clears throat> YouTube 
will hold your comment for a uh, pending for a spam comment or something like that, and I miss it. I've been trying to go and check out the spam folder for comments and make sure I get them cleared. But yeah, I mean, that, like, the, the question is, is how do you have time to answer everybody that comments? I make time. If I have to walk a walk away from what I'm doing at work to go answer a comment, it takes me literally like a minute to give you a like and comment. And that's the thing I've always loved to do. I always loved talking with you guys. No matter what. If it's a hate comment, if it's saying I'm doing something wrong, I'll say, you know, thanks for the, for letting me know, and beat feet, you know. Yeah, so that's all we have for questions. Um, so we're going to talk about Mr. Trapper Do. If you guys don't know Trapper, Trapper is my yellow lab. Everybody tells me, oh, you have a beautiful... Labrador, or not Labrador, a uh, Golden Retriever. He is not a Golden Retriever. He is actually a Yellow Lab. Golden Retrievers are too damn hot for this area. They will not... They, I mean, they survive. A lot of people shave them, but... I, I don't like long-haired dogs, personally. Um, I mean, that's my personal opinion. I, some long-haired dogs are fine. But the area I live in, it gets up to 120, and no long-haired dog is going to survive in that. You have to shave them. It's like, I've almost thought about shaving Trapper, because Trapper is somewhat on the long hair side. Um, his hair is roughly, probably an inch and a half in some spots, maybe an inch. Like, his back is probably an inch. His butt is probably about an inch and a half because he's got real fluffy hair on his butt and it always, it kind of like sticks out past his legs. See what I'm talking about? Like this hair down here. It's like super long compared to the rest of him. He's got about an inch long hair. Um, he is super tired today. He got to chase the cows around. The cows are in the back, uh, the back pasture, um, that goes around the side of my dad, behind my dad's house, and it comes down around the back of my house, and then it comes all the way up the side of my house, and then goes up in front of my, my, uh, yard, and the cows are out there, and they, the, where, where they go down to eat is at the barn, and which is the barn is part of my yard and Trapper Dude always has to go down there and yell at them and tell them that they are doing something wrong although they're just going down there to get hay and a little bit of grain and we have them set up so there's a crow panels so the crow's like this and the f the barn I'll show you guys in a second let me let me finish talking to him for a second and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But yeah, he's been a total complete jerk face chasing the cows, running up and down the fence line barking at them. Chasing them away from the fence. He's like, hey, this is my fence. Get the hell out of here. Beat feet. I don't know what you're doing on my property, but get get, get going. Get out of here. Go. See ya. Gone. Get. Yeah. That's, that's Trapper Do. Trapper Do? Boogie. Booger. Bruiser. See, he flinched on Bruiser. Bruiser was his actually original name. Yes, I know, baby. Okay, let me turn you guys around. Yeah, so Trapper's original name was Bruiser. Um, the lady that I got him from named him. Um, he was the first pup out of the litter. And she fell in love with him because it is 
he is a spitting image of his dad, and he was the only pup out of the whole entire litter that looks like his dad, and his dad has the red coat like Trapper has, and his dad has the red nose like Trapper has. So she was completely in love with Trapper, and then her husband told her that she couldn't have him. So, yeah, a little, little devastated. And then when my brother took me out there to get Trapper, she met me, and she absolutely loved me, and she was like, okay, you can have my baby. And I said, I'll take care of him. And I said, I actually didn't even do you a favor. And she goes, what's that? And I said, I'll send you, I'll send you pictures all you want of him. It could be like your own little grandbaby. And she's like, oh my god, are you serious? So I went and got him. Brought him home. He's been with me ever since. She gets pictures every couple of days. She'll text me. I need a, I need a bruiser fix. Like, okay, here you go. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love him. Can I have him back? No, that's my baby. You can't have him. Anyways. God, I'm like really squirrely today. I'm, I'm tired. I need sleep. I need food. I haven't eaten yet. Like, what is wrong with me, y'all? Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, so... Oh, I was talking to you guys about the barn. So, the barn is, like, say this pin is the barn. It's, say the pin is the whole length of the barn. And it's got a 12 by 12 stall over here, and a 12 by 12 stall over here. And in the middle is about a 16 foot by 12 foot section where we keep the cows. The two stalls where my horses used to go, because this used to be my horse barn, they got converted into like a a uh, storage for like all the lawnmowers and uh, rotor tillers and all that crap. And then the other side is a, a wood storage barn. So the cows come in. So the cows have this alley in the back. So they come in through this alley. And let me get this straight here. They come in through this alleyway. And they come to the stall like right here in the middle. Well, they have to come through this alleyway because this alleyway's got a fly bag on it. And we want them to walk through that that alleyway. So they walk underneath of the fly bag and the fly bag brushes their back and puts white powder all over them. And that white powder gets rid of the fleas. Not fleas, flies. God, but... Durr! Yeah, gets rid of the flies. So there's no flies on the cows because it is getting to that time of the year where the cows are usually covered in flies. So, yeah, I have we have that all set up for they can get dusted with fly powder. And uh Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, we talked about Trapper being a jerk face, like always, he's a complete jerk face when it comes to those cows. Let me tell you what. Jerk face, jerk face, jerk face. Um, when the cows were up front, he did not want to leave those cows. He was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. He would sit up there in that window and stare at them for days. Like, you are not going anywhere. I'm going to bite you in the face. When I, I'm, I'm going to come over to this fence. I'm going to bite you in the face. And the cow just stands there and like looks at him. And he sits there and he gets super aggressive with them. Jumping up and down off the fence. Barking like you thought somebody was killing somebody. And Trapper is barking to protect them. Ugh. And then he, the cow comes up to the fence to kind of smell him. And then he sits there and tries to bite their face through the fence, and I'm just like, Trapper, you need to be nice. You're a very mean dog. He ain't mean at all. He just, he thinks that they're on his property, and they can't be there. They're strangers. Okay. Stranger danger. Okay. 
Um, seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Let's go to the casino. No, f that. I ain't going to go goddamn casino. Hey. Okay. 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 My my diamonds are out of order over here. My diamonds are out of order. Um. Oh, so, um, tell you guys what happened for Monday. I, I think I told you guys this already, but I had a really, really bad upset stomach all day. Well, actually, all evening, Friday, stomach was just killing me. And then, Saturday, in my live stream, I ended up, Ending my live because my stomach was hurting really bad. My stomach hurt really bad all day Sunday. Like, I wanted to die. Like, literally just wanted to die. My stomach hurt so bad. Luckily, Monday I got up. Well, you know, I didn't do a video, um, ha, squirrel brain. I didn't do a video Monday because my stomach was killing me and I didn't have anything really going on. I was going to do a wood burning video, but then I was just like, oh my god, my stomach. I could not stand to just sit on the couch. Felt like. My stomach was just in knots, and somebody was on the inside punching, trying to get out. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely painful. My stomach hurts right now. But it's because I'm hungry, and I haven't eaten yet. But I'm probably just going to get done with this, and I'm going to go to bed. Screw food. Nobody needs food. What the frick is my color? Frick, 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 fricker. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Oh, it's over there. It doesn't even belong over there. Fricker. <sighs> That's my new word lately. Fricker. Because my boss yells at me when I say the F bomb. So then I started just saying F bomb, and he's like, Come on. People know what the F-bomb is. <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? He goes, something else. So I started saying fricker, and now he's like, Turn shut up. <laughs> I love to annoy my boss. It's so much fun. So anyways. Um... So, a quick update for my Patreons. I thank you all so very much for your support. And I just want to say, I made a Facebook group for Patreons only. So it's an extra way for me to communicate with the Patreons. I have noticed that not all of the Patreons have signed up for Facebook. So if you do not have Facebook... Let me know if you have Instagram. I will go give it to you on. I'll link it to you on Instagram. Just, just so everybody has a second line to the Patreon. So if I post something, you guys can get it. I'll I'll post it in Patreon and I'll post it in the Facebook group. Just so everybody has a second line to. Uh, get a notification because I know a lot of a lot of time when I get notifications from Patreon I don't see them because it's an email so yeah it's a bummer but most of the time I don't see them until either early in the morning when I am going through emails or late at night when I'm sitting on the couch going uh, I guess I better go check the emails before I go to bed or whatever. So, 
there's that. And also, Patreons. I have a poll in the Patreon for you guys to help me pick out my next diamond painting. Because as you see, I have a little bit here to do. And I'm down to less than two squares because these are actually overlapping quite a bit. So, there's four canvases up there you can choose from. Help me pick out my next canvas. I would greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. There's one on the top. Well, actually, I can't say it's on top, but there's one that I really, 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 really want to do. Um, and then I was looking through... Uh, was, uh, so I picked out I picked out a DAC, I picked out a uh, star ore because I have a few star ores. Um, uh, mystical diamond art because I good lord I want to do that moon or ocean moon sorry what's the name of it, and then TSA because I am an affiliate with TSA if you don't know this is a TSA, um, Treasure Studios art. I am an affiliate. It'll be in the link in the description box. And as you know, I am an affiliate, and I love TSA. I have a lot of custom. Not I can't say a lot of customs. I have a few custom. Actually, I, I have like four customs. Three customs. Four customs. Uh, there's actually I, I, including the uh, customs from that she made for me and Sister Addiction. Um, I got like four or five. So I had to pick out a TSA because I got like. 15 of them over there. Um, right now, DAC is winning. So, go vote, Patreons. Go vote. Help help a brother out, pick out his next painting. I, I can't wait. I am so, 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 so trying to complete this canvas as fast as I possibly can. 603 666 oh that no 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 so sorry for the squirrely brain but it may be funny to some of y'all um it's what sleep no sleep does to you and work a lot of hours and then Get to the diamond painting at freaking like 10 o'clock at night. But also, uh, Patriot Beauty was live tonight. I haven't seen Red live in a long time and I wasn't going to miss that. So, uh, Mary Jane has been. Such a sweetheart. Uh, there's sometimes I want to kill her. But she has actually been a really big sweetheart. Um, the, only, the only issue I have with her is when I go to sleep. That's the only issue I have. Because she wants to try to eat me. If I move, she wants to try to eat me. I mean, it's my bed, cat. It's my bed. If if I want to move and roll over to the side, I can do that. If I want to sprawl across the whole entire bed and stick my arm over by you and stick my arm over top of you and, like, rub my hand in your face and because I don't know what the hell you are because I'm sleeping, I can do that. And then that's usually when she attacks me. She's like, ah, ah, you woke me up, prick. What are you doing over here? Oh, uh, let's pick out my next number while I forget. I'm down to the uh, nitty gritty of the nitty gritty. W. 351. So yeah, she's just... She's been a love because like I can go in at night when I go to go to bed. And she's already in there sleeping. And I'll go in and... Oh, man. Man. Uh, I, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I don't have my trash drill on. My, my trash collector on here. Oh, what the frick? What the frick? 
I got I got magnets all over the place. Alright. 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 Alright, I said. No. I said alright. No. I said alright. Get, get off. Oh, that ain't gonna work. All right, hold on. You know, watch me ride the struggle bus over here. Don't drop diamonds. Cut. Bam. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandma. And she used to go out to ring the, the triangle. R, the triangle R. The supper's ready! And then, like, 20 minutes later, we would not show up, and she'd be like, It's your last chance to eat. Get in here. Okay, Grandma. Now, mind you, my mom's mom was, like, four foot tall. Uh, yeah, she was, she was a short little shit. Hey, what color am I working on? 351. Okay, W. Yeah, my, my grandma was a tall, or, uh, excuse me, my grandma was a short drink of water, like five, no, good lord, numbers are confusing, y'all, that's why I don't do math, she was four foot five, or four foot six, or something like that, I'm mean, like, she was, she was tiny. My papa, he was six seven. Tall drink of water. I don't know how they mixed. How they had gotten to know each other, I have no clue. But good lord, can you just imagine four foot five to a married to a six foot seven? Holy crap! My papa was big. Um, my papa's side of the family, which is my mom's side of the family, uh, they're all extremely big people. Um, my grandfather was a child of 14 kids. Fortling chitlins. 14 chitlins. I am speaking way too damn fast, y'all. Way too fast. So, my papa was a child of 14 chitlins. And, let's just say this. The shortest one of those 14 was 6 foot 3. The shortest out of the 14. My papa's older sister, she is tall. Tall. Tall drink of water. She was six foot ten. When I met her, I was like, ha 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 ha. Hi. You're really tall. She goes, yeah. She goes, do I need to reach down and give you a hug? I said, yes, please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she was extremely tall. Son of a donkey butt. I missed, like, four freaking diamonds. Jibber-jabbering away over here and not keeping count of what I'm doing. Putting my diamonds away before I was done drilling. Good lord. So, I am looking forward to a wood-burning video this week. I need to get back into the Native American bracelets. Um, unfortunately, I have to figure out a new, a new size for the pattern that I'm using because the pattern is just way too freaking big. Um, 
pattern that I'm using is like gargantuous. Like I, I'm only done with like a, like maybe a little over half of the of the bracelet, and it's it's huge. I put it up to my wrist. When it's done, it would probably cover two of my wrists. So there's no way I could physically send that to a Patreon or keep it for myself for that much because it's huge. Um, so I gotta figure out a new pattern for that because all the patterns in that book that I bought, I was so excited to get this book because it's got freaking a buttload of designs and patterns for diamond painting and I can't even use them because they are way too big. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. But I'll, I'll figure something out for it. Um, as, but for right now, I think I'm just going to to uh, consistently work on wood burning. Try to get as much of it done as I possibly can. I, I, that's like my. Uh, my new love right now is wood burning. Um, I finally figured out my phone situation because my phone kept saying it was full. No more memory. Your phone's full. I go to record a video. I can record like a minute and a half, and it says your phone's full of memory. I'm like, what the bloody heck is going on? So I go to the settings and I go look through all of everything and come to find out I have it set to save all of my videos to my phone. And I'm like, oh no 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 nope 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 I ain't doing it. So I told it to save to the SD card. I have a hundred and thirty two gigabyte SD card. You think I'll ever fill it? I have another one on the way. Should be here to uh, tomorrow or Thursday. Just because I'm always filling up SD cards. I take a boatload of pictures, like all the time. Record, rec like when I record videos, I I delete everything when I'm done. Once it's uploaded to YouTube, it, just it, delete it. I don't mess around with it anymore. Before, I used to save it and hold on to it for a while. Nope. Gets deleted. Done. Sayonara. See you later. Adios, amigos. Smell me? You smell me. Okay. Um, 9.39. You suck a fish, and I'm 39. Um, oh, sorry. I just had, like, a complete Lion King blow up in my head. <laughs> no. Dang it. I dropped my drill. I'm using the wax that was in this pen when I got it. I don't know what kind of wax this is. Don't smell. Um, but I've been using it since I got the pin. And I like it. If you guys don't know where I got this pin at, I got this pin off of Etsy. From Harps Custom Creations and Customs with a K. Um, it was yesterday's video. Actually, it was Monday's video, but I ended up putting it up Monday's video for Patreons because I've been I've been kind of slacking on Patreon videos, but yeah, work's been crazy. Anyways, let's talk about work. Um, I got the forklift fixed. Yay! Got the forklift fixed. It's been like. 
way too long working without without the forklift. 971. And I was going to try to fix it by myself, but there was just no way. I couldn't do it. There was no way. It was uh, the rear CV um, steering axle. Um, yeah, it, it, it had a big hole in the uh, ram gasket, or ram, uh, um, prophylactic, not prophylactic, god, what am I trying to think of here? The, uh, the ram gasket, so as the, so, like, this is the ram, and as you turn the forklift, the ram goes, like, and the seal was gone on this side, and it was just dumping transmission fluid everywhere. And I know a lot of people are probably going, transmission fluid out of, out of that, yes, it actually runs off of your transmission. And that damn heister. Damn heister! Yay! I finished that section. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Now, all I got is two more squares to go. Ah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay, what section do we work on next? Well, let's find out. I'm going to take some of these off so I can look. Ah, ah. I almost dropped my pin. That would have probably broken. Not a good idea, Jeremy Key. So, if you don't know where I got this cute little guy at, uh, I got this from Don Marie and Nana of Seven Crafts. Love you, sisters. Um, and this, oh, I won this from Shine Like a Diamonds live auction raising money for Maddie. For her service dog. Oh, and this. I got this from, um, what is it called? Kim's. Kim's Needle Minders. Yes, Kim's Needle Minders. I tried to do it with, like, uh. <laughs> the guy off the family guy. Hey, Chris. He always talks with a lisp. Not a, not a not like a, a lisp, but like a, he always puts like a esh at the end of all of his sentences. Yes. Hey, well, no, no crossbreeding over here. We don't do that kind of stuff over here. <laughs> That's all I have left to do of this whole painting. Oh my god! Oh, yes! Look at that! That's like completely color blocking. Oh, like this section right here is confetti, confetti, confetti. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna s save the confetti, confetti for last. So, this is getting this put back on it. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Ah, uh, I am like completely like cartoon central tonight. Ay 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 ay. Um, where's my butt plug? Oh, sorry, my trick plug. <laughs> I don't know why I called it a butt plug. Oh my lord. I'll tell you guys. Sleep? <laughs> What's sleep? Let's see. What is sleep? So I was told that your diamonds go on smoother if you lay them this way. Let's see. Let's see how, how accurate this is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's pretty, look, 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 pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
Yeah, Trapper. Dad is tired and got the funniest. I gotta wait up for a phone call, though. I'm surprised she hasn't called yet. It's crazy. What time is it? What time is it, everybody? You don't know. You, you can't help. Okay, I had to pause you guys so I can go see what time it was. It's late. It's like 11.30. I wonder why I'm so goofball. So, mm, I got something to snack on while I was out. It's not really a snack. It's candy. Jiggle stick. Um. Yeah. Oh my god, I love chicken sticks. Um, what was I, what the hell was I gonna say? Oh, I got a package today from Don Marie. She sent me some red vine licorice. Yum! So, we're probably gonna wrap this up here in a minute. Um,. Uh, I think I'm done talking about everything I want to talk about. Um, probably going to be making a tech video coming soon because I've had a lot of questions on how to use the new Creator Studio. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm still trying to get used to it myself, but I'm kind of liking it. So, maybe Monday I'll do a video on that. And Friday we'll have a, a wood burning video. Try to think of a stencil to make. I do the wood burning. Uh, uh, yeah. Wood burn. What stencil the wood burn? So, I hope you guys all have enjoyed my squirrely, squirrely, squirrely brain. Um, squirrels and tiredness don't mix very well, but you never know. It may be funny to you guys. That's all that matters. Is you guys get a good laugh on your day. I'll try to have this up for you guys in a decent time. I don't know how well it's going to work because, like I said, I got slow-ass country internet. It's country as country could be. Um, Yeah, I got I got a bunch of stuff um, in the works coming. I'm waiting on packages. Oh my god, I'm waiting on packages. But yeah, you know, shits. God, I've had a real bad potty mouth tonight. Sorry, y'all. I'm I'm really sorry. I, I I really try to watch my mouth, but sometimes it just flies off. But, uh, yeah. Waiting on stuff to ship right now is... It's kind of ridiculous. I got a package today. Uh, they... It took, like, almost two weeks to get to me. And then... It's not even what I ordered. I am really, really pissed off. I was ordering bubble millers. Or an envelope with bubble wrap in it. A bubble wrapped envelope. Whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, so, I found a place online. Actually, it was actually Walmart that I bought them from. And it said... White bubble mailers. 
and I was like, oh, right on. That's perfect. I don't, you know what, I'm not picky on the color. Guess what? Guess freaking what? I opened up the bag today, and I was so livid. The part I don't understand is the bubbles are out here. And it's smooth on the inside. How's that gonna prepare anything? I got like a hundred of these stupid things. <sighs> Learned my lesson. So I went online again this afternoon. Found an Etsy shop that had a really good deal for 40 bat, uh bags they were colored a couple of different colors for 10 bucks and I was like deal order it since I can't seem to uh, get a hold of this company I don't know if it was a company or if it was actually um, Walmart that was selling them themselves so I'm waiting on a response to see what they want to do with it. Um, if anything, I'm going to use them for wrapping up stuff to put into the bubble mailers. So it'll be extra securely packaged. We live and learn from the, the mistakes. It said white. I figured they were just plain old white. Like, white. No, they meant clear. But, you live and you learn. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and call it a night. A day for you guys. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Look it. Just look it. I'm down to two hands. Two hands. Two sections and I'm done. And done. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, well, why haven't you completed that painting? Well, number one, I have a lot of crafts that I'm working on. Wood burning has been taking a lot of my time. Plus work and life. And, you know, I live on 15 acres. I have shit to do. Potty mouth. Anyways. So. Sorry. Um. Yeah, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Sorry if I was a little squirrely, but hey, you know, it makes for an exci exciting video. Um, as always, <clears throat> remember to have peace, love, and respect for one another, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!